Guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to teach you something that I practice across all of my developments, how to add value by utilizing or creating space. Let's get straight into it. Whatever strategy you are using, the BRR strategy, flipping strategy, a buy to let strategy, adding space or utilizing space automatically will add value. Now, when you're in a property, the easiest way to add space or create space is by removing walls. When you remove a wall, you can create a bigger family room. You can create a bigger kitchen dining area. You can knock chimney breasts out, which also adds space, but, Removing walls, you will need a structural engineer to tell you what you need to do. They will give you the calculations, which you will then hand to your contractor to make sure it is all done correctly. And at the end stage, a building inspector will sign it all off for you. Another thing that you can do to showcase the property's potential is using rooms for multifunctional purposes. As in, if you have a spare bedroom, you can have a fold away bed, you can put a desk in there to show it can be used as a home office. This is the best way to add value to a property and showcase how to use the space creatively. Utilizing outdoor space to turn it into living areas are super important. Now, people overlook gardens. People love gardens, especially since COVID, because they use them for multiple things. They use them to entertain children. They have summer houses in the garden that you use as home offices. Now, as you can see, this garden's an absolute state. We have not started it yet, but the plans for this one are new fence panels, new turf, patio area over there, patio area over there for a barbecue, maybe a hot tub, no idea how far I'm going to go because it all depends on costs. Last week, I released a video, which is down here for you guys to see, the cost and the breakdown of a pretty basic garden, if I'm completely honest, but a lot of people were shocked by how much it actually cost to develop spaces like this. So click the link, tune in, give me a feedback on the comments below. On to the next part of the house. Utilizing space by adding natural light. This creates a really nice feel to the property. Skylights, to me, are key. They make the space more inviting. They make people want to congregate around an island in a kitchen, adding windows. I like floor to ceiling windows. I believe that adding natural light into a property just makes it more inviting for purchasers. It makes it more inviting for renters. It's something that I'm a big fan of. And this property we're in today, I have made sure I have made use of natural light. Next up, garage and loft conversions. Now, if you convert a garage, you can add space by adding a bedroom, a home office, a dining room. You can extend it into the family room. Right now, this garage has become a double story extension. You need to make sure you do your due diligence. You need to make sure the numbers add up so you can achieve the end value that you need to achieve. You need to make sure that you get the correct permission by using an architect to submit the plans on the portal for you. And you need a structural engineer to make sure all of the calculations are done correctly. Garages and lofts add a lot of space and they can considerably increase the value of the property. Staging and 3D visualization can help rent or sell your property before it is even finished. As you can see, my latest development is nowhere near completion just as of yet. We are about four to six weeks out, but I have already had the 3D visualizations done right at the beginning of the project. Now staging can help people see how the property would look when they take over it. Some people don't have the imagination and some people who do have the imagination can create the staging for you. My advice, make sure you have staging or 3D visualization in order to cater for everybody. Like I said, some people can't see the finished product until they are shown it. 
So there you have it guys, another video from me on how to utilize space, creating value and making the most out of your property. Now, the tips that I've given in this video can be used across a number of different properties. Some properties they can't be used in, such as flats and things like that, but I hope you get a good idea of what I do to utilize space and maximize my revenue potential, whether it's a buy to let, whether it's a flip, whether it's a BRR, these are some of the things that I do in my development career. If you like this video, guys, drop a comment below. If you have any tips and tricks, you should drop a comment below to help the audience put me in a better light as well because maybe some of the tips that you give, I can use in my future developments. Subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future so we can make it happen. Remember, the property circle is for like-minded people. We are trying to be the best educators and create the best network in the UK. But for now, I'm off and I will see you soon with another video.